What's up, everybody? I hope everybody's doing well. Um, times are definitely interesting right now. Um, times like these make me happy that I have something like Legos to do because it's really hard to stop thinking about all the bad stuff that's going on when it seems to be that there's a lot of bad stuff going on in the world. Um, this is a video of my last build. It is the Boba Fett helmet, um, set number 75277. I really, really like this build. Maybe it's because it's the first out of the builds I've done recently that didn't have any uh, stickers or decals. So I could just build and, and it looked great when it's finished. It was a lot of fun because I haven't built anything like this where it's just uh just a helmet i don't know how many sets there are that are like this uh my wife got me this particular set for my birthday along with the stormtrooper one uh she had seen them online and they were up for pre-order but the website she was going to get them through the pre-ordering was a little weird i don't know what was what was going on but it was almost like um the pre-order was listed as like a back order or a sold out situation already and she was concerned that I wouldn't be able to get them um, at the time we only thought we've only seen the Boba Fett and the Stormtrooper helmet but then we were at Walmart and they had them already uh, we went to Walmart for some supplies um, We've been staying in a lot. We haven't been doing like social things like movies or or uh, what is it that we used to do a lot. We used to go to like bookstores a lot and there's a local flea market that we like. Well, it's not local to us, but it's in the city. Um, but yeah, for the most part, we've only been going out for work and things like um, runs to the stores to get like some entertainment or food or whatever that we could do at the house. This particular day, we saw this, the Boba Fett and the Stormtrooper at Walmart, like I said, and my wife decided, you know, she'll just cancel, cancel the pre-order and come back and get them. And that's what we ended up doing. We just got them at Walmart. And, you know, they only had two of each, from what I could tell, two, maybe three, but it looked like it was only two. And it was cool, you know. We got them. I was really excited to do them, you know, because I've been doing these Lego sets just to entertain myself so to speak but when i got home and we were looking at them we found out about the tie fighter helmet which looks really tight <laughs> i don't know how else to say it it looks amazing um i'm not i'm a star wars fan but more like on the casual side um but i would like to get the tie fighter helmet as well but the prices for it online are just stupid high like this set just came out um the three helmets you know they just came out like they were released recently and they're already being resold for like stupid amount of money and i it's like i would i won't pay that i might pay like maybe 10 20 dollars more than what they what they normally sell retail wise but even then for me that's a, a big big maybe so when we went to lego store recently uh, luckily we have a lego store maybe like 10 minutes from us i asked them about it because their stock is like dwindling a store like people are going and buying you know stuff to entertain themselves or entertain their kids or whatever but i asked them because i noticed they didn't have them the whole time they they had been open in quarantine and the employee that i talked to said their problem is that they just aren't getting shipments during this whole thing like shipments stopped back in march so they're selling only what they have and their new shipment, their newest shipment should be coming out sometime mid-June or July. And then I asked him, like, hey, you know, will these be in those shipments? And he's like, yeah, more than likely, you know. I guess Lego has a, a factory or a shop or whatever in Mexico City that takes care of production. And that had been closed down, so obviously that affected shipment. Which, to me, it's totally understandable, but... That's the only way I'm gonna be able to get something like this without paying a crazy amount of money. And he even said, yeah, don't do it. Just try to wait and, and when we get it, you know, check with us. And you know, for me, I'd rather just do that because then you get the points with VIP too. So, um, but yeah, I suggest you can get these helmets. They're a lot of fun to build, especially if you can get all three. They'll look nice displayed on a bookshelf or something like in the living room, especially if you have a cool pop culture setup. 
are ready showing your love for star wars or movies or sci-fi or whatever they they're nice like display pieces and they don't take up a lot of room at all like as you can see i have a pretty big hand um and they're about the size of my hand like from base to the top of the helmet um but yeah you know i think these bills are worth it they're a little on the pricey side i think they're like 60 bucks a piece but I think they're worth it, you know, they're still pricey for a lot of people, um, especially considering that uh, it has about 625 pieces, but I didn't mind it, you know, I don't really go too crazy with the bigger pricier sets, but again, I think it's worth it. Uh, if you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe, you know, the routine for almost everybody on YouTube, and uh, be on the lookout for more. Um, I'm working on another set right now. Well, I'm fixing to, I should say, and I'm going to just hopefully keep these, keep cranking these out because they are a lot of fun. Um, thank you, and hopefully I'll have another one soon.